Yes, sir. Got my compete on today, bro. Shout out to Value Pursuit. Let's get it. Yo, what's up with it, everybody? It's your boy, your old boy, Trey D, the one with the beard and the kicks. Mr. How I Look, coming to you direct from the office. And, bro, we got another one for y'all today, man. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy. Hit that thumbs up if you like what you see. Leave comments in the comment section. Your boy is always in the comment section. I might be a little bit late, but I'm always in the comment section. Yo, if you don't like it, man, go ahead and hit the thumbs down. Just like that, bro. I, I get it. I get it, man. I am not for everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? But hope everybody is having a great day. I hope everybody enjoyed the All-Star game. The All-Star game was actually pretty good. But all of the stuff leading up to it, man, like the three-point contest, like the dunk contest, all of that was just like it. Was it just me or was it trash, man? It just it just didn't feel great to me, man. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, man, I did want to show y'all I got this thing in hand. I've been putting this off, getting a stabilizer, uh, just because I wanted to do some B-roll, some better B-roll, basically so the camera won't be all like jittery and stuff like that, man, when I'm trying to do B-roll. So hopefully this helps out, man. I'll let y'all know what it is. Uh, but this was like $44 off of Amazon. And so we'll see, man. You know your boy is cheap, man, when it comes to stuff like this, man. Your boy will pay like two hundred dollars for some shoes, man. But when it comes to something like this, man, I just I don't want to. I don't want to do it, bro. I don't want to do it. As y'all can see, we are into another episode of Hold, Flip, or Drip. And as y'all can see, we got the Air Jordan One Blue Marinas, and we have the Air Jordan Three Cardinals in the building. I wanted to combine these because I didn't want to do two different videos on this, man. Let's go ahead and get into it. The Air Jordan One Blue Marina, Blue Marina, however y'all want to say this joint, man. This is a clean shoot. Now, I honestly think that people will be upset that they did not pick these up. Air Jordan Ones are not doing like they used to, man. You have to hold these joints a little bit longer if you want to actually flip them and make a little bit of profit off of them. Where's my phone at? It's right here. Now these retail for $170 and since I have size 10 and a half, I'm going to compare them with size 10 and a half. Might as well do apples to apples, right? So on stock X, the last sale on these joints was $217. Now if you sell it right now, it's $210. And if you want to go ahead and buy it right now, it is $218. And of course, you know, you have to do the fees and everything like that. Now, y'all have to let me know if you really want to use StockX because I know they're going down to the $600 threshold and then the government's in your money. So I, I personally won't be using StockX just because I don't like all of the fees and all of that type of stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few other Jordan ones that have released. Starting off with one of the more recent ones, I didn't do the crafts, but the Bordeaux Jordan ones. Now the last sale on these was $190, which is even lower than these joints right here. Now, if you want to go ahead and sell it right now, it's $185. And then if you want to go ahead and buy it, it's $190. So these joints just recently came out as well. This is a clean shoe. I really like this shoe and I think it will go up in time. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 1 Pollen Joints, size 10 and a half. The last sale on these was $214, which is a little bit better. And if you want to go ahead and sell it right now, it's $195. And if you go ahead and buy it right now, it's $215. So that's a little bit better than the Bordeaux ones. Now, I actually like the Pollens a little bit better than I do these joints right here. Now you can probably wear more with these right here, but I like the pollens because they stand out a little bit more. Next up, we'll go to a shoe that came out a little bit before all of these, which is the UNC One. Now these joints have restocked a few times, man, but I've noticed the UNC colorway has been super dope, bro. It's been, it's been going up. If you get the threes, if you get the ones, um, probably if you get the sixes. Anyway, the last sale on the UNC ones was $433, which is good. And if you want to go ahead and sell it right now, it's $410. Now, if you want to go ahead and buy it right now, it's $440, which is really good. Now, these joints came out, what, in 2020? Did these come out in 2020? Y'all have to let me know. It's, what, is it 2020 or 2021? 21 probably. 
Um, but either way, I missed out on them, so um, I don't have these in the collection. But this is the UNC colorway, and these joints are busting right now. So this is a Jordan one that you would want to hold on to. I just want to do two more on the ones. Now, if you look at the Royal Toe ones, those joints came out a while ago. So the last sale on these was $310. Now, if you want to go ahead and sell it right now, it's $290. But if you want to go ahead and buy it right now, it's $310. Now these Royal Toes, they're taking a little bit longer to go up and I know a lot of people did not really like the Royal Toes, but at the same time, they're going up just a little bit. And Royal Toes set, Royal Toes set, at least they were sitting out here. Now let's go ahead and get to these joints right here, the Royals. Now I would definitely keep my Royals over these if I had to make a choice, I would definitely keep the Royals. Now the Royals came out in what, 17? So the last sale on these was $499 in a size 10 and a half. And then if you want to go ahead and sell it right now, it's $485. And then if you want to go ahead and buy it, it is $500. Now I want to throw the Royals in there just because people are doing comparison videos on the Royals and the dark blue arenas. Of course, I would keep my Royals over these if I had to make a choice. That's, that's not questions right there. But at the same time, Royals might have sat a little bit as well. So I say all of that to say, man, if you got these, I think you should hold on to them. Don't flip them right away because in the long run, Jordan ones do go up. So I would hold on to these. Now, if you do want to go ahead and drip these joints, man, I think you should do that. The only thing I think you should not do is try to flip these things right away because the price is just not there right now, man. Now it's time to move on to these Cardinal 3 joints right here, man. And these things are clean. Now, if you have the Katrinas already, you might not need these right here, but I don't have the Katrinas. So I wanted to get these in hand and I think I'm going to go ahead and keep these joints. But let's go ahead and get into it, man. The Cardinal 3s are going right now for $277. That was the last sale in a 10 and a half. Now, if you want to go ahead and sell them, it is $269. And if you want to go ahead and buy them right now, it's $273, which is not bad, which is not bad for a shoe that actually just came out. But let's go ahead and compare these to a few other shoes that have recently come out. Let's go with the Pine Green 3s. Now, you can still get the Pine Green 3s, at least in my city. Um, I saw them at Foot Locker, I think at Redbird uh, last week. So... These are still going at retail, basically. So the last sale, though, was $240. Now, if you want to go ahead and sell them right now, it's $222. And if you want to go ahead and buy them, it's $240. Now, the Pine Green 3s are not doing that great right now, but let's go ahead and go to another one. Racer Blue 3s. Now, I don't know how people were really feeling about these, and I know these sat for a while as well. I did not pick them up, nor did I pick up the Pine Green 3s. I just didn't see the need for them. But the last sale for the Racer Blue 3s was $275, not bad. And then if you want to go ahead and sell it right now, it is $230. And if you want to go ahead and buy it, it is $275. Now, I have not seen any Racer Blue 3s in my city lately or anything like that so you do have to probably go resell for these joints right here now a shoe that is doing a lot better in the three silhouette is the unc3 so i wanted to bring this to light as well now the last sale was 599 dollars in a size 10 and a half and if you want to go ahead and sell it right now it's 460 dollars and if you go ahead and buy it right now, it is $475. Now these are doing well. This goes back to that UNC colorway though. So these joints, I don't know how they restocked and I think they sold out like fairly quickly because I only got one pair. I remember I only got one pair of these joints right here, but I did not keep them. These actually did really well. Like I said, we're going back to that UNC colorway. People really like that UNC colorway. Now let's go back to an OG. And I think these actually sat. Let's go back to the black cement threes. And the last sale on this was $495. And if you want to go ahead and sell it right now, it's $465. And if you want to go ahead and buy it right now, it is $500. 
So these are right around the UNC prices right now, bro, which is crazy. I would take the black cement over the UNC joint, but that's just me. I don't know why I didn't think to do the Katrina, but the last sale on the Katrina was $460. While if you want to go ahead and sell it right now, it's $400 even and $462 if you want to go ahead and buy it right now. So if you're looking at the Katrinas compared to these joints, man, this is a good hold. Now going back to the Cardinals, the thing about these is not everybody has received their shipment yet. And so right now is a good time to flip it because everybody has not received their shipment. But at the same time, if you're still trying to get this joint, it's not the right time to go to resale because everybody has not received their shipment yet. So I know DTLR still has not received theirs. I don't think some of the Foot Lockers got all of their shipment. Um, I was able to get this off of an in-store raffle from Finish Line. So shout out to Finish Line. But if you were really trying to get this shoe, I would hold off like a week or two because I think there will be some uh, late shipments and I think there may even be like a uh, restock on these joints. But Let's get back to the hold, flip, or drip joints on these. Now, I think these are a good hold. I think these Jordan 3 Cardinals are a good hold. If you don't mind holding on to these joints, I think it is a good hold. Now, it is also a good flip because right now, at the present moment, not everybody's gotten their shipment in, so it is a good flip right now as well. Now, would I drip these? I definitely would drip these joints right here, man. So could it, could it possibly be hold, flip, and drip? I guess so, man, because it's my channel. So, hey, you can do all three of these joints, man. You know what I'm saying? These joints are clean, and I think I am going to hold on to them. But you know your boy is not going to wear them right now just because everybody's going to be wearing these joints. And I want to wear mine after y'all beat y'all up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not the huge fan of threes. The only ones I have are the black cements and I have the red cements or the Unite threes. But this is my third three right here. I would actually drip these. I would actually flip these and I would actually hold these. So all three, wish I had another pair. Anyway, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down in the comment section and let me know what you think. What would you do? Your boy is about to get out of here, man. So with all of that being said, it's Mr. How I Look. Coming to you direct from the office, signing out.